Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and uh, today's problem is going to be very easy. Uh, I am on purpose use such easy problem in order to teach you how to use um, Pascal's triangle, how to build it in order to solve uh, combinatorics problem. And here is a problem. A family has four children. What is the probability of having zero boys, one boy or two boys? And first I want to show you how we uh, approach this problems using uh, logic method. For example, each empty box here would stand for child and this uh, family have four children. So, for example, first child can be of uh, two different genders, whether it can be a boy or a girl. Second child also can be a boy or a girl. So, two variants for each child. If we multiply all these numbers we are going to get 16. So this family may have uh, 16 different uh, combinations how they may have uh, uh, children of the different sex. And the first question what is the probability that we would have zero boys? The only variant when we would have uh, zero boys would be variant when first child would be a girl second child would be a girl, third child would be a girl, and fourth child would be a girl. And as you understand, there is only one such variant out of 16. So uh, we can say that probability uh, of zero boys would be uh, 1 sixteenth. And uh, in other words, we can say what is the probability that the first child would be a girl, and this is one half, it can be whether a boy or a girl. Uh, second child would be a girl, third child would be a girl, and fourth child would be a girl. So each time it's going to be one half probability. So we are going to get the same one sixteenth. And next question, what is the probability that the family would have one boy out of um, uh, four children? And it's also uh, easy to answer this question. For example, we may have a uh, first child boy and then three girls. We also may have first uh, child a girl and then uh, a boy and then a girl and a girl. Another variant would be that first two children would be girls, then a boy and then a girl. And the last variant would be uh, three children, first three children would be girls and the last child would be a boy. So as you see we have four such combinations. Out of 16 possible combinations, so four out of 16 would be an answer for the second question or we can say uh, this is the same as one quarter. So we can divide 4 by 4 and 16 by 4 and this is how we can get this reduced number. And if we ask uh, what is the probability of having two boys, now it would be uh, much more complicated. We have to write down all possible combinations and probably it's going to be easier to solve this problem uh, using uh, Pascal's uh, triangle. So how we build Pascal's triangle, take a look. We have number one, then we have number one below, uh, we repeat it twice and then uh, next row also starts and ends with one. But now we also add another number here in the middle and it is going to be two. Two is going to be a combination of this one and one. So we have one, two, one. And next row, once again, we have here one and one. And this time we have numbers as follows. So we put here um, one plus two, three. And we also fill in this row three. 2 plus 1 is 3. And next row also starts with 
one and squeeze one and we also can fill the gaps here uh, which is going to be four six four and now also uh, what I need to do I need to uh, give names to each row so the first row actually not the first but we call this zero row this is first second third and fourth and also we can uh, give uh, numbers to each uh, row on the right side so uh, here one uh, is basically uh, meaning one combination and here one plus one two in the next row we have one plus two plus one which is four so we put four here in the next row one plus three plus three plus one would be eight and sixteen in the next row so basically now you see that uh, this number here stands for the probability that all children would be girls this is number four as you see that refers to four children four children in, in a family and number four here stands for the probability of having three girls and one boy and number six here stands for the probability of having two boys and two girls so once again uh, first number stands for uh, four girls then three girls and one boy and this number four stands for the probability of um, three boys and one girl and the last number one here stands for the probability of having uh, four boys so four boys so now you see uh, probability of having two boys would be six out of 16 so this is going to be an answer for the third question and we also can answer much more complicated uh, questions imagine for example that instead of four children we would have uh, 10 children or 15 different uh, events uh, then uh, in this case it would be much more time consuming to write all possible combinations and we can make a mistake easily but using Pascal's triangle it would be much easier to solve such problems uh, for example to find all the probable um, genotypes and phenotypes and uh, once again for example here we have example when for example you have a coin uh, both sides of which would be tails no matter how many times you would flip it you always would get only one uh, result always would have tails but if you would have um, a coin with heads and tails 50% of uh, times when you throw it you would have uh, heads 50% times you would have tails so two variants here and if you would flip the same uh, coin uh, with heads and tails but this time you would uh, flip it two times in a row you can get uh, following results whether it can be two heads or two tails or it can be head and tail and tail and head so that's why we have here two and uh, as you see here is going to be distribution uh, if we will for example flip the coin uh, three times and this is going to be uh, our variance and four times this is also going to be our variance and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video goodbye